Hello, I'm Dawn White. I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina, and I'm a friend of Mrs. Pegram. I'm a physical therapist at Cone Health. Um, to be a physical therapist, you have to go to college about seven years, and you can get your doctorate degree. Um, there's a few master's programs maybe here or there. Um, one of the special skills that I think you need the most is ability to talk to people. Uh, you're going to have a lot of patients that you work with, so you've got to be able to communicate well. Um, you kind of need to be outgoing and, and be able to, to be a physical therapist. You have to be really determined because school is very difficult. Um, it's a long seven years. You have to really, really work hard and be determined to finish and complete it. But it's a very rewarding career. Um, we do lots of different things that you do in school. We document on every patient. So we write um, in charts and we write down what we do with everybody. So you would use your writing skills. You will also use your math because we have to calculate how far patients walk, the speed they walk at. So we, you would use your math skills. Um, there's a few tools that we take. I brought a few today. There's a cane. We would teach a patient how to use this cane so that they could, they would be able to walk because sometimes they can't use one of their arms or one of their legs. So this helps them to support themselves. Also, some patients, they're just, their endurance is bad. That means they uh, can't get around um, without getting short of breath or they just get tired, their legs get weak. So they can use this where they can walk and they can use it. And when they get tired, they just lock the brakes and turn around and they can sit down. And then when they're ready to go again, they can use it to stand up and they can turn around and then they can walk. So these are just a few things. We use wheelchairs and crutches. You probably have maybe have seen somebody use crutches. So there's lots of different tools we use in our job. Um, the most challenging thing about physical therapy is that when patients are sick, sometimes they're on breathing machines, they get really weak. And so we have to physically lift them and we have to physically help them. And then they get, they get stronger and stronger. And so that's also the most rewarding thing about our job is that you see progress. You see a patient go from being kind of stuck in the bed and not being able to move. And then after we work with them, they can go home and they can move around. So that's really the main reason that we do our job is that we want patients to go back home and be able to get around. You might've had a grandparent or a parent who's had therapy and had to get, um, get better from being in the hospital. Um, so I think that's about it. Um, you know, our biggest thing is that we want to help people get better